one of the records that walked that middle spot between the street and you know making that conduit to the globe was my Adidas. Is it true that that started out as a, a, a diss record? It started because Russell was smoking dust. <laughs> <laughs> so the kid, the little Hollis crew comes up, yo, Joe, man, you gotta go get your brother Russell over Hollis, he's up there dusting. <laughs> so we run up there and Russell is up there dusting. And he's going, wait, 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 wait. You gotta make a record about your sneakers and it has to start my, uh, Adidas, and he would raise his foot up real high and stop standing on 25th Street. So he did that all the way home. So later on in that week, there was a doctor in my neighborhood called Dr. Tease. Yes. So it was a rite of passage for everybody and every kid in the neighborhood for their parents to drive you by Dr. G's house. Mm -hmm. See that house? You see, yeah. Yeah. see that Mercedes Benz? That's from what hard work and hard work. education exactly. you get you. That's So fantastic. Dr. D's would write these newsletters, obesity, food, whatever. So he did a newsletter called Felon Shoes. He said, you see those young boys in front of the grocery stores in our neighborhood with the fresh sneakers on and the gold and stuff like that? They're part of the problem. Wow. Now, what are you, you were just saying to drug dealers or whatever. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. he was partially right, but he didn't know that Butter, my man had four pairs of sneakers. He worked three jobs. Got it. Or the kid Fishman had all the sneakers because he worked at the fish market. Yeah. So fast forward to yo, let's do that Adidas record that Russell was talking about when he was dusted. So I wanted to write a rhyme that was going to take away the stereotypical yeah, yeah, look yeah, at yeah, yeah, yeah. the kids in my neighborhood because yeah. I went, I'm in St. John's. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I went to school and I got my sneakers on. So mine was uh, my Adidas. To Dr. D's motherfucker, I don't yeah. sell no drugs. No, I, was like, oh, <laughs> I stepped on stage Just at Live Aid. Aid. All, All the, the people, people gave, gave and the poor got paid. And out of speakers, I do you speak. Speak. I wear these sneakers, but I'm, I'm not, not a sneak. sneak. We talked about my Adidas touched the sand of a foreign land, motherfucker. I went to Japan in these yes. sneakers. Yep. I never was in a prison. This and that, boom bang. So it was it was a record to to say, don't judge a book by its cover. You know, Adidas could have spent $300 million on a marketing program that yep. wouldn't have did. No way. Because it was so real and sincere. Not you know at what all. I'm saying? And the rumor has it that on what had happened was they're doing their, their weekly meetings, you know, going through the product and stuff like that. They had no idea why this old superstar that was gone and forgotten. They had no rooms on the walls, <laughs> on the grass. Wow. And, the, and rumor <laughs> has it, it was an intern, mm -hmm. a white intern at that. Dude, you don't know. Run DMC made a hip hop record about Adidas and it's killing. And the, the, the executives were, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. JB, is this true? What, what the hell is hip hop? What the hell is a Run DMC? And it's like, yeah, yeah I'm hearing about this inner city music, you know, the typical yeah. thing. So what they did was, you know what? They sent a spy to Madison Square Garden when we was doing the Madison Square Raising Hell show, mm -hmm. Madison Square Garden. They sent a man named Angelo Anastasia. He's the head of Adidas in America. So Angelo comes. We do an outset. Madison Square Garden, 19,000, I think, 20,000. Mm -hmm. Sold out. Mm -hmm. Everybody in brand new Adidas. Wow. So Angelo runs back to L.A. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> it is this thing I've seen of myself. It's true. It's these three guys. It's this hip-hop thing. Yeah. And they call us up. Yo, we want to give y'all an endorsement. So that day we became the first non-athletic entity to wow. receive a major sport. But I don't even play basketball. I know. <laughs> I got a sneaker deal. You can't play because you, you don't have no shoestrings. <laughs> right, right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, these sneakers ain't for balling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the beautiful thing about it, I look at it like this. What Run DMC and Adidas did was great. It opened up for Yeezys to yeah, exist. Absolutely. But yeah. um, the Adidas thing, what was beautiful about it, it, it meant something to people. I think people will, will have a newborn baby mm -hmm. in an Adidas suit with Adidas booty. Yes, exactly. And they, they, they won't say Adidas or, or Run DMC. They'll just post it and tag Adidas and Run DMC. Yes. But they'll say, I'm raising them right. Yeah. That says a lot about like what we was able to do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm man. raising them right that is fantastic and after say i'm raising the right because it needed just Yay. it's crazy what we was able to do listen to class of 88 wherever you get your podcasts